Hey, Mark, fake banter for the intro. That's all I know how to do. Great. Good to be here. Welcome to Tuesdays with... Stories. Hit her in the face with a surfboard. And then the duck fell out of his bag. <laughs> Surf's up. And she didn't even flush. Knock, knock. Who's there? Mark Norman and Joe List. Yeah! This is Tuesdays with Stories, everybody. No, nah, that's terrible. This is supposed to be cheesy. My radio is spitting at me. And I can't choose what Ooh! Hoochie mama, hoochie mama. What's that from? <laughs> is that Seinfeld? That's the Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah. Season eight, uh, or nine. That, again, one of the worst ones. It's when somehow what is that? Kramer has a fucking porch in the in the hallway. <laughs> Which is, again, one of the most ludicrous, undefendable, oh, so indefendable, indefensible plots. Americana, Jerry. There's a baseball fly. Kids are supposed to be playing baseball. Yeah. Like, I, I, that never happened the whole series. I get so mad that I'm like, they pe- they lost the plot. They lost everything. They really did. It became like, how can you l- like this? So what do you think? You think they just brought in all these Larry Leaves. They bring Larry all Leaves. these sitcom, home improvement guy, the uh, Big Bang guy. Yes. You know, all these uh, Mike and Molly, whatever the fuck. And I think what happens is... This certainly happened with the curb. Is people start having too much fun. Mm. It becomes a fun place to be. So everything's fun and funny. Oh, wouldn't it be funny if we did that? Yeah, yeah. throw that in there. And nobody's there to be like, does that make any sense whatsoever? Right, right. It makes me like furious. Like I'm like, w- so I don't understand. So who? It's funny if that's the show. It's just a sketch show at this point. Yeah, there's kids playing baseball in the hallway in the Upper West Side, and Kramer's. Just crazy. It has a screen door. Screen door with a lawn chair and an American flag and sparklers. Woo, America. Yeah. yeah, it's it's silly. I think you know what they do. They go, Kramer's wacky. We'll do a wacky sub uh, subplot. Then uh, Seinfeld's neat. We'll do a neat plot. You right. know, and then George is cheap or whatever it is. And they just go with that. They don't actually go with the, the character or the personality. No, they just, they totally lost it. And uh, what can you do? Yeah, yeah. But it's a great show. It's a better show. I don't have a show. I suck. There you go. Hey, you make myself. a show. People will hate it. Yeah, they certainly will. We didn't realize what we had back in the uh, the early aughts mm. when uh, we couldn't have a comment on everything. We didn't know what we had. Oh, that was that was paradise. Yeah, you had to wait for people to just come up to you, which they also do that. They do and that. Then just go, hey, uh, my brother hates your movie. You piece of shit. Ooh, man, that guy. Now that's one of those. I hope he hears it. You no, know, I hope he doesn't. No. I'm worried. I feel te- I well, feel he bad because he's a sweet, sweet boy who, you know, he said something a little wacky. What can you do? He, he didn't know. He blew the pooch on that one or screwed the pooch. Or, no one ever blows the pooch. We only fuck it. We That's can't a blow a pooch. Point. You screw the pooch. Yeah, you don't well, blow the pooch. I'd like to blow it first, you know. That's a tweet. That's something. Oh, okay. Fuck. And you never fuck the pooch. Just screw. Screw, it's, yeah. I assume means sex. I assume. And what is that from? Screwed the pooch. Where the the origin on that has got to be? Is that a farmer who got horny? What is that? That is a good point. Screw I have a the point. pooch. Screwed the pooch. The pooch has been screwed. Yeah. The chicken crosses the road. There's a dog day afternoon. It's a dog eat dog world. Well, where'd we get the screw and the pooch? It's the only time we refer to it as a pooch, by the way. And you don't hear pooch that often. No. Po- but I think pooch is also like a fat yes. tummy. My pooch is showing. Yeah. I remember the first time I heard fupa. That's fat upper pussy area. There you go. Yeah, that was big. <laughs> that was big, because they exist, and somebody named it. Somebody had to come up with that. Well, then later, someone had gunt. Oh, gunt. A gut cunt. I love gunt. A gunt, which gunt I like better. Gunther. Gunt, yeah. <laughs> gunt is good, because it hit gunt. Yeah. Whereas it's, fupa's more fupa. Yeah. It's like gunt, loofa. It's not quite. It's like a mixture of the worst word ever. Gut and cunt, And the yeah. worst thing ever. That's uh, good. But, yeah. You know fubar? Fucked up beyond all, all recognition. Yeah, that's a well, nice that's uh, military. Saving Private Ryan. There's right. also Snafu. Oh, hold on, hold on. You can do it. Suck Nazi ass fuck. Oh, Eugenics? ultimate. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, situation normal, all fucked up. Oh. Wait a minute. So is it normal or is it fucked up? It's a good point. It should be Nesafu. <laughs> normal situation all fucked up. Yes. But I think in military, they talk that they way. They talk Situa- that way. We got situation normal over here. Right. It's like Yoda. Situation normal is all fucked up. I think I'm right on that. I think you're right. 
I think it's situation normal Al fucked up. I love snafu. I love when words just go on and they become a thing. Like yeah. Basket Case. You know what that is? No, I don't know Basket well, Case. You know, I know the album. That guy's a real basket case. He's a he's a mess or whatever. Basket Case is when you lost your limbs in the war. They put you in a basket to carry you around. I don't know. Uh, that's Some of these from. I hear, and I, I'm not sure. Because I also heard that OK is zero kill. Oh, I love but that. But I don't know that that's true. Like mm. in World War I, the fighter pilots, they'd say, what's your status? We're OK. But I don't know why it wouldn't be zero OK. Maybe it's shorter. I think it's, it's, it works. OK. Yeah, they like zero those. Killed. Yeah, they like the, they're going to go with letters and not numbers. You know, long time no see. That's just long time I haven't seen you. No, no, but you wouldn't say like that. You wouldn't go... Uh, long time no eat. I right. guess you could, but maybe like Yoda talks like that. I yeah. feel like. But it's long. Mm. It's somebody talked to a, an Asian guy. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. Uh, I've been I was sitting on that one for twenty minutes. Oh, you here? A long time no see. Oh, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, uh, we I had something go back to etymology. Snafu. Oh yeah. Wait, hold on. What snafu, was after snafu? Basket case. Yeah, zero kill. Oh, because oh, you never kill. say we're five k if we're bad. Ah, you're true. never like, hey, how you doing? Oh my god, we're three k over here. Yeah, well, my TV's four k, <laughs> so who knows? And then there's the KKK. That TV, <laughs> that TV sucks. Yeah, yeah that's three k's, <laughs> and that's fun. Yeah. <laughs> then there's the Kardashians. That's a lot of k's there. But yeah, basket k's. But who knows? That wasn't bad. I'll take it. But yeah, we're all over the road here, and uh, I love word origins, etymology, whatever the hell you want to call it. But some of them, I think they 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 make up. I know "son of a gun" gun was like a whore in oh. the pirate days. They would call her a gun. This is what I heard. Oh, I like that. That she, like she's a real gun, like a, a, a paid woman. And then you'd have her, you get her pregnant. Son of a gun. That makes it because we say he's a hired gun, hmm. which is a weird term because you're like, oh, we got a we got a shooter. He's a hired gun. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. Hired killer, hired gun. It's yeah. shortened. Is it all about shortening? Maybe it's hired gunt. If it's about shortening, my dick is the best. It's, hey. it's the shortest dick around. <laughs> yeah, strawberry shortening. But there was another one I had. A basket case, gunt, okay. Oh, you know where the word nerd comes from? Dr. Seuss. You got it. Yes. He had about 38. He goes, nerd, nerf, knack, noop. Wick, walk, you know, but nerd stuck. I mean, I'm getting shit for saying this, but I'm like, we had this dialogue three episodes ago. Oh, word for word. Fuck me in the air. Rewind it. I screwed the pooch. You said, you know about nerd, and I said Dr. Seuss, and you went, yeah, you got it. Oh. I mean, someone could lace these next to each other. I mean, <laughs> it's it. unbelievable. They which, by it. the way, speaking of which, did you know this? Uh oh. The joke. The uh, don't fart until I come joke. The yes, shower. Yeah, great joke. Evidently, I had told that to you before. What? It yeah, was new to me. You might have Alzheimer's. You got dysphagia or uh, I got AIDS. Bruce Willis. Yeah. You know? I'm all over the road. I, I got nothing. Something's up with you because I wrote it. I said it and it became this legendary video. It's like yes. the hardest you've laughed and Mark's never laughed. He's I remember got the autism, video. Whatever. And then uh, a lot of comments are like, Joe told this exact joke to Mark four episodes ago, four years ago. What? Back in the old days, stand up New York days. Well, you know it's scary. Now this is now getting serious. Uh -oh. I've been taking these sleeping pills, and everybody's like, "Hey, buddy, they fuck with your memory." Oh. And man. now I'm now I'm like I was always like ah blow me or uh, I never heard that. And then they're like, "Well, we actually told you that last week." And I'm like, "I don't remember you telling me." So then here we are. I mean, but this nerd, Doctor Zoo, this is appalling. Yeah, I, I, I'm so excited about that fact. Maybe that the, the excitement usurped. The, the remembering of maybe or maybe you're Gonzo. You might be. We oh, might have to no. do a fundraiser. Well, why can't I forget about the bad shit? I I, I forget about the Dr. Seuss thing. Let me forget about the the babysitter in uh, third grade. I know it's a good point. Well, I think that's locked in there. It's trauma. But then there's the whole thing where your body does the. Uh, oh, that's a repressed memory. Right. And you're like, yeah, that's very nice. You, you took that camp counselor out of my uh, psyche. I've had people ask me before, because I'm, I'm very flinchy and twitchy and, and blinky, uh -huh. and I don't like to be touched. So people say that's a, that's a sign of being uh, molested when yeah. you're a kid. And I was like, maybe I'm repressed. Maybe you're oppressed. Maybe my father fucked me or something. Because I'm very, people touch me, I, I go, oh, Jesus, I freak out. Yeah, repress on nail. But it could be. But would, now here's the question. Would you rather <laughs> jostle it and 
set it free, or would you rather just keep on keeping on? Well, these days, I mean, if I was <laughs> finger blasted when I was nine, I could put that on HBO and straight to the rafter. I'll <laughs> be, I'll be famous. That is true. You're right. Yeah, these one man molesting shows are all the rage. <laughs> So I, I don't know. You know, my dad hit me in the face once. I don't know. That, does that count for something? Yeah. Real hard. Handprint, the whole thing. We should tell kids that, you know, because these kids are all fucked up. My, my dad molested me, and you're like, hey, hey, hey. sucks now, but in 28 years, you're going to be running the show at Edinburgh. Yeah. <laughs> you know, three people got that. You think about doing Edinburgh ever? <laughs> Uh, I was on my uh, my list of things to do, and about three months out, they go, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do this, you got to promote, you got to sell tickets, you got a flyer, you got a paper, and I said, I'm out. Yeah, it just seems like a lot, and uh, every, same show every day. And yeah. I'm not an everyday guy. No. You know me. I do Thursday through Saturday. I take about six weeks off. I'm like, I got to take a breather. <laughs> and you like a routine. I don't know if they got your tea over there. They don't have cookies in that town. Well, it's all... The, Tea? Are you kidding? That's where they have the oh, tea. The that's UK. True, but it's real tea. I drink real tea. That's why I go to Starbucks, baby. Emperor's Clouds is as real as it gets. All right. I think they Rock got the roll. pot. They got the pot out. They got the cup and the saucer and a queen. Well, I like the pot if you're in I I can shape shift. Okay. Like if I'm in okay. if I'm in London, I'll put on the fuzzy hat. True, true. And I'll I'll even have crooked teeth out there. Not uh, here. So <laughs> I'll go out there. I'll eat crackers and uh, biscuits, and biscuits, and whatever it is. Yeah, but beans for breakfast in the city. You want your box and you want to go. But I, I did try that in Paris. I told that story before. I went in there. I'm like, can I get this to go? And they looked at me like I was oh, crazy. Oh, interesting. Oh, I got an update of a big situation. I got to look at my. Ta- I know this is unprofessional, uh-oh, but oh, is it bad? Off air only. But it's uh, not a bad update. Is it a down oh date? Oh my god, no! It's about uh, the thing I told you in Tempe. Oh, the guy? Yeah, yeah. This is wild. You know, Tempe sounds a lot like Tampa. It's only one letter. All right. But wait, so uh, do we need to do some editing? Uh, this is crazy. Okay, no, all good, all good. Oh. I gotta read it, though. I'm dying. It's not about the guy who shit on your movie. No, no, oh, no. Oh, no, okay, no. okay. This, 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 I, I got it Nothing to do with it. This is right. off-pod stuff. All right, cut it. Oh, Just read God. it. We can cut for two seconds. It doesn't matter. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. God. Okay. No, no, no. Okay. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Woo, this is <laughs> spicy. I can cut. I can cut. No, this is good. People okay. like it. This is for our eyes only. Weird things happening. Oh, you're, gonna, you're, you're getting them too juiced up here. They're going to like, what the fuck? They can't handle this well, shit. Well, that's fun. That'll get the algo going. All right. Go algo. Yeah, we got, uh, you know, someone got shot that I know, and it was crazy. And All he's right. in the hospital now. Ooh. All right, this is exciting. He knows Alec Baldwin, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, boy. All right, well. That's, a, that's one of those stories that you're, you're on. It's like the marathon when they were looking for the bomber. Oh. You're like, I can't. I told you, Canner was like, I'm taking you to steak for your for your birthday. And I had to be like, hold on, okay, great. Right, right. And we never went, I never got the steak because I, wow. I kept having to be like, I can't stop watching this. Yeah. And he's like, well, I will check the phone. I want to take you out. And I was like, I appreciate it. I love you. I, I couldn't stop. Wow. Yeah, and they got the guy. He was on a houseboat. That's right. Houseboat. Yeah. Just a boat. Oh. At a house. Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Should Regular a, boat. Is a, is a houseboat is a boat that's a house, and then a boathouse is a house that a houses boat. a boat. Wait. No, no. I think they're different. There's a houseboat and yes. a boathouse. A yeah, boathouse yeah. is where you store boats. That's what I said. House oh. is a boat. Oh, house is a boat. I see. Yeah. Okay. The boathouse has a boat in it. House boat is, is a boat. A, is a boat and a house. Yeah. Got it. All right. Like Sleepless in Seattle or MacGyver. Huh? Two of the fa- <laughs> two famous houseboats. Oh. MacGyver had one in a couple seasons. And That's then Sleepless right. in Seattle, of course, he had the one. Also, I think in Cape Fear. Oh, right. He had a houseboat. Yeah. Was that a houseboat or was that just a movie big boat? I think might that have might have been a big a, rich guy boat. What's that called? A the, yacht. The, no, a not schooner? a yacht. A uh, oh. catamaran. No. Dogamaran. Uh, it's called a, Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I got it. It's coming right up my ass. Uh, pontoon. Ooh, pontoon boat. I didn't, that, that's not a pontoon. Pontoon no, is no long pontoon. and thin like my uh, dick. No, pontoon is square, I thought. What's the square? It's a raft. No, no, no. I think it's pontoon. Will you look up pontoon? I think that's where you have the mm. bar. 
And it's a big square thing. Well, uh, maybe you're right. I think maybe so. Maybe you're right, yeah. Yeah, it almost looks like a fan boat, but it's just the two things on the side with the yeah. things in the middle. Oh, well, you're not Pontoon living on Network. that. That's what uh, I'm saying. Oh, okay, okay. No, uh, yeah. That's what I, I think Cape Fear. Look up the Cape Fear boat now, if you could. Mm-hmm. Because I All think right. that's pontoony. That's a loony pontoon. But maybe they do sleep in there, because there's a kitchen. Because I remember she shoots his fire on his face. Oh, that's right. That's right. Maybe it's... Can you be a pontoon that doubles as a house? Mm. Pontoon house? Pontoon town. Mm. It's it's tough. There's actually a place called Cape Fear Boats. Like, it's an actual... Ah, interesting. Okay. What a weird movie to spin off of for your business. Well, it's a place. Cape Fear is oh, a place. Oh, it's a place. Right in Carolina. A horrible name for a place. Cape Fear. It just has a horrible a- a connotation. When I think of Cape Fear, even though I've seen the movie a million times, I still think of uh, Sideshow Bob underneath I the car. I think the same thing, Who yeah. wants to drive to the cactus field? Oh, <laughs> no, man. five against one. Ah, the Simpsons was killer in the 90s. You ever, I, well, I was going to say a joke, but I think I've done it before. So I'm Probably. Well, I'll throw it out there. I'm, I'm Alzheimer's. Yeah, I think um, you're fucked up. Ah, oh, damn it. It's the pills, man. The pills! There's, uh, there's no free lunch in nature. I can't. I, I put what boat do they use in Cape Fear? Oh, I'm getting these Cape Fear boats. I can't get a uh, read on them. Put up Cape Fear film. Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Boat, boat style. Ooh. Boat. Maybe that's something. Okay. Gravy uh, boat. Style points. Uh, style style bender. Style. All, right, all right, all right. All right, well, I'm dying. No, I think well, it's pontoon. Now there's the uh, and there's also canoe and kayak, but that's a whole different thing. All right. What's um, the difference between a canoe and a Jew? A canoe, canoe tip. It says, it says houseboat. Oh, okay. The film's yeah. climax takes place aboard a houseboat. We got three okay, houseboat so yeah, movies. I do think it is a houseboat because they had the kitchen, but some non-houseboats have a kitchen. They have a kitchen, and mm. some non-house, some houseboats are bigger than my old apartment. Sadly. Yeah. Um, so I'm trying to think of more houseboats now. Yeah, there's probably another houseboat in a movie. It's got to probably be. a movie called Houseboat. Mmm. There's a boat trip. I think uh, Lethal Weapon. I think doesn't he live in a houseboat? Oh, oh Lethal Weapon. I believe you're well, right. I haven't seen Lethal Weapon since Good 1958. One, yeah, the first one was fun. Remember, he's crazy, pops the shoulder out, he calls oh, yeah. the Jews evil. Vaguely. Good I times. don't know Lethal Weapon that well. I know oh, Glover and Pesci, and I remember, I, see, I think I saw part three or four in the theaters as like a young youngster. That was a weird Pesci role. Okay, 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 okay. He had blonde hair. The whole thing was right. weird. But it uh, was later. That wasn't the original. He wasn't no, the original four. That was three sequel. Like, three, that. like yeah. deep sequel Chris time. Rock's in four. That's right. Oh, <laughs> oh, that I saw because I was like obsessed with rock. So when oh, rock wow. came out, I was like, I got to go see rock. Remember, he had another. Bo- I think he had a movie. Was there something in the trailer? We pulled up the trailer where there was like a woman has a towel and it's a face cloth and they're supposed to wrap a towel around. Can you, know, you see the trailer? I don't know four again. that well. I remember there was a joke in the trailer about like throw a towel on. He picks up a, a face cloth. Something oh, like that. oh, because he's naked. Yeah, something and he was like hot. That. He was still hot then. Uh, Mel or Danny? I'm talking about Rock. Oh, he was hot for me. I don't know. No, he, he was, was never hot. hot. No, he was I never don't hot. Think so. His career was hot. Maybe. Sure, he was cooking. Hot to trot. Okay, interesting. Well, should we get into Toronto? Because you teased Toronto. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm now nervous about the Simpsons joke because I want to tell it, but I don't know if I've told it. Stick in my ass. Cause I got a Simpsons right. joke that I tell all the time. Okay. One of my favorite. Mr. Burns gets shot, so they're questioning everybody in the town, you know, to get some information. The cops are. Uh, Equestering? Hmm. Sequester? Sequester. Okay, but that's not that. Sequesters keep by yourself. Really? Yeah. Sequestered. Sequestered is like if you and I are on a jury, we have to keep each other separate. Oh, okay, okay. So they're interrogating. Yes. There we go. Or uh, what's the other one? Deposition? Deposing? Hmm. Parker Deposy. So... God, she's hot. There's one scene where they got Mo Sislak up to a lie detector, and they go, uh... Where were you on the night of the 15th? I had a hot date. Eh. All right, dinner with friends. Eh. Dinner alone. Eh. All right, I was ogling the women in the Victoria's Secret catalog. Eh. Sears catalog. Ding. <laughs> I mean, come on. That's good. I don't remember you telling okay, that. Okay, okay. I love that joke because they just, I picture the writer's room going, we got to get sadder. We can go sadder. Right. Oh, sadder. And, I mean, my favorite Simpsons joke ever is my favorite joke of all time. When they're trying, Marge is trying to convince Homer that his new friend is gay, and she said, "Homer, he prefers the company of men." And Homer goes, "Who doesn't?" Oh, that's, that's amazing. number one for me. That is amazing. That is the best Who joke. <laughs> it's very funny because women aren't fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's funny because it's true. Just there kidding. you go. I Joking. Many lady friends. My father's a lady. Yes, mine's. 
prefers a company of men. I like bounce, uh, balancing the uh, microphone with my thumb. Mm. That's not bad. Can you go uh, index? Wow, that takes a lot of strength and balance. Well, I figure my Let's own see. asshole. There you go. You can do it. Hmm. This is hell of a pod there here. It is. Good pod. <laughs> Well, that's right. what happens when you do two in a day, folks. I don't think Howard Stern ever did this. All right, so back to Toronto, which was teased. Oh, Bing. Toronto. That was the cool thing about Lethal Weapon 1 is they had a sting. You know a sting? Like a, a, I know a sting. A music sting. Music sting? You know when they go, Bing. it's like a motif they play throughout the movie, like oh. whenever something happens. It was this weird saxophone sting. That mm. go, I know it, the sting. Yeah, yeah. There's the Sting, and then there's uh, Sting the singer. Who and never Sting the wrestler. Wrestler? Yeah. He was like the Ultimate Warrior knockoff. Oh. He had like the Ultimate Warrior face paint and blonde hair, but he was in the WCW, which I never watched. Ah, uh, yeah, the B-Squad. Yeah, it really did feel like... That was the WNBA. Tuesday. Yeah, it was the History Hyenas of Tuesdays with Stories. You got that right. And come down. <laughs> Take that, jerk-offs. Both gone. Yeah, Still we outlasted here. the bastards. Hey, hey, folks, Tuesdays with Stories is brought to you by First Leaf. Oh, we love a good old First Leaf. We all have that one friend who drops into town without notice. And when they do, I make sure to have plenty of wine on hand for all of us. That's why I love First Leaf. As America's most personalized wine company, First Leaf takes the worry out of buying quality wines. Just create your personalized wine profile with First Leaf's five-minute quiz about your wine likes and dislikes, you'll then get your very own wine concierge who will curate a customized selection of delicious, award-winning varieties from rosés to sparklings and everything in between. The hand-selected wines are delivered to your door with prices lower than what you'd pay at a wine store. You can even schedule your delivery day. This is genius. I don't know where this has been. First Leaf, you're saving my ass. My lady loves wine. She cooks, so I get to show up with the wine bottle, nice and personalized, just how she likes it, and we all have a great night. Get yourself some First Leaf and keep it at the house, folks. You're always ready. Every selection is backed by First Leaf's 100% satisfaction guarantee. I love reconnecting with friends and family over bottles of First Leaf wine, and I bet you'll feel that way, too. So give First Leaf a try and head over to First Leaf dot com slash Tuesdays to sign up and save fifty percent on your first six hand curated bottles plus shipping. Come on, this is gold. Also, who wants to make a run to the wine store? Get it right to your house. That's t r y f i r s t l e a f dot com slash Tuesdays to save fifty percent on your first six bottles plus free shipping. Try firstleaf dot com slash Tuesdays. Tuesdays with Stories is also brought to you by BetterHelp. Mm. It is easy to get consumed with what other people need from you. But what should you be doing for yourself? Uh A lot of us don't take the time to figure that out. That is where therapy comes in. BetterHelp's online therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep giving to others and give yourself whatever you need for yourself. I've been going to therapy... Most of my whole life, I went as an eight-year-old, I went as in my 20s, I'm now in my 40s, I'm still going, trying to find a date right now because uh, I got a busy schedule, but Mm -hmm. I love my therapist, I want to, you know, I just want to give him a big hug every time I see him, in fact, I do. BetterHelp is flexible and entirely online, so you can easily fit into your schedule. Set your appointments around what's best for you, since it's all online, you can do it anywhere, whether that's your office, your couch, or even your bed. I've done therapy during COVID, by the way. I was on the phone. I was walking around. I've done it on the streets. I've done it on the couch. I've done it everywhere you can do it. Here, here. It's just good to hear somebody that cares about you. Yes. To get started, just fill out a quick survey, get matched with your licensed therapist, and switch therapists at any time for free. Find more balance with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Tuesdays today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Tuesdays. Do it. It'll be good for you. So uh, we're back. Canada, the the Great White Way up north, the tundra mm. in Toronto, the Six, they call it. The Six? That's like an area code. That's what Drake calls it. He's from there. The I blue hate this Jays, area code horse shit. People got a problem with area codes. 781, baby. 504, boys. I got different hoes. 
A different area. Okay. Did you ever see him live? You never told yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, not good. <laughs> Have we gone over this? All right. Um, I get it. All right. So uh, go to Toronto, fly in, pick up in Buffalo, drive to Toronto. Border's no problem. We get to Toronto. I check into my hotel. They put you up at, you know, doing a corporate. They put you up at the Hyatt. Nice. Tor- People forget Toronto is a booming metropolis. Huge city. Huge city. It's the New York of Canada, they call it. Oh, yeah. Um, so Toronto is cooking and it's sunny. It's, I've only been there in the winter. You right. know, everybody's bundled up. The snow's falling. It's fucking freezing in those areas. Well, the summer's like four days long up there. Exactly. Canada. So I've never caught it. And I finally caught it. The sun is shining. It's blue skies. I was like, wow, everybody's out. The whole city's alive. It's cleaner. There's less hobos. You forget like, oh, this is a well-run town. Yeah. We're fucked. Yeah. So... I'm feeling good, and I got my corporate, so I'm like, man, the last one went great. I'll just uh, study up a little. I'll get my shit together, and then I get the text from the guy. You want to get dinner first. We're having a big dinner, and then we'll do the show, and it's at this Italian restaurant called Soto Soto. Most famous Italian restaurant in the place. It's a million-dollar meal. I get there. The walls are just lined with Brad Pitt, Beyonce, Sting, uh, all these giant celebrities. It's the spot. Wow. Juan Soto. So the show's at 9. He goes, we're eating dinner at 7. Come if you want. The guy was super cool. And I go, oh, wow. I'm texting with the main guy. And he's like, I'm a fan. Let me know when you're coming up. So I walk up. It's, I say, I'll be there at 745 because I'm trying to get to the end of dinner. Yeah. Like, I'll give you some hang time, but I don't want to... Sit there with the whole crew. Sure. You know how it goes. So I show up. He's waiting outside for me. Nice guy. Normal guy. T-shirt and jeans. I was like, oh, great. Because you you always feel bad. Like, should I dress up? So whatever. So he's cool. He goes, come on in. I got you a seat over here. You don't have to talk to everybody. I was like, he gets it. This guy's great. He's like, I'll get you all the food. I know you like to eat. I'll bring you food as it comes out. I know you like to eat. I know you love free food. I was like, "You, you know me. He's like, I'm a big fan. I listen to all your pods. Oh, you might hear this. Oh, I'll keep well, it cool. you're saying good things. Okay, well, it's going to turn. The nice. Oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, one of these, you forget these fancy, snazzy restaurants where everything's a zillion dollars. The The female staff is like bananas. It's They're oh. all 11s. Yeah, they're all right. these hot Italian. It's like it's like the, the coffee shop scene. Like, do you notice something similar right. with all these waitresses? They're my daughters. Yeah. <laughs> Well, these weren't daughters. It was a black one, a blue one, a brown one, and a white one. Wow. Don't call me daughter. Yeah. (laughs) And uh, it was, whew, you're distracted because you're trying not to stare, but you're eating and uh, whatever. Um, They're all so nice and whatever. So he comes up. He's like, I love this bit of yours. I love that bit of yours. And I'm like, I am going to kill this. This guy is a huge fan. He's like rattling off bits. He's like, I listen to all your pods. I'm so happy you came, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, man. I'm getting nervous. I'm picking out. I got leg of lamb. I got penne. I got chicken parm. He's putting tiramisu up my ass uh, and all this. So mind you, I booked all this shit at the comedy bar around this corporate. You know, So the corporate, I go on at 9, 45 minutes set. I'll be done by 9.45. Comedy bar show starts at 10, but I got a host and an opener. So okay. I can probably get there at about... You booked a headlining show the same night as the corporate? I wasn't thinking, because usually a, sh- a corporate's at 7, maybe 8. Right. This is at 9. So I was like, I'll do a 10 o'clock show. I, I- I'd probably get there at 10.30 and be good. Okay. Which... Because sometimes you just don't think. I don't think. So, oh, my God. Geez. So, uh... A guy goes, all right, we're gonna. They're all. We're all upstairs eating. We're gonna finish eating, bring everybody downstairs, and we're gonna set up the room with chairs and a microphone and a speaker. And then you'll come up to forty-five. I'll bring you right up. And I go, you got it. And just to be professional, I'm looking at my notes. I'm listening to old sets. I'm looking at it's like a Fallon set or a Conan set. Just try to get it all memorized. The jokes he likes, they're old. So he, we go up there. Nobody wants to sit up front. It's a whole thing. Come on, guys. Here we go. There's about 50 chairs. Come on, you pussy. They're all like noodling each other and and headlocking. These are real (laughs) bros. Right. And there's a bar in the back, and it's actually a pretty good setup. Low ceiling, little Italian restaurant, tight chairs. I was like, this is going to kill. He goes up, 
and he goes, hey, and they go, hey, pussy bitch, <laughs> fucking with him, you know, whatever you do, and, and they're yelling at him, and it's all fun and games, and I'm like, these guys are lively, they're a good bunch of gags, they're all hanging out, and he goes up, and he says some dumb thing, like, we're gonna have a hot show, Bob, don't say anything, we know you got Tourette's, and they're like, ah! They're going nuts. I'm like, man, this crowd is juiced up. They've been drinking. They're ready to go. I can't wait. And I go, just to make sure before the show, I go, no language restrictions. I mean, I'll I'll hold back. I can go clean, whatever you need. He goes, all I want you to do is be yourself and do some crowd work at the end. Like, okay. you know, that thing on Instagram where you, you get suggestions from the crowd? Do that. Okay. I love that. I was like, oh, all right. This guy is easy peasy. So, of course, he goes up and he... Every single time they do the, we got Mark Norman here, he's been on this, he's been on that, I'm a big fan, my kids love him, I love him, we watch him on YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Mark Norman, you know, the double name? Right. Every well, single the time. the double name, because many just do the name at the beginning and then That's never true. again. That's true. That's true. They go, here he is, or whatever. Yeah. So I'd been kind of canoodling with a few of them, just meeting people, shaking hands. So I go up, and I'm so confident, and of course I get up, and it goes, uh, you know the uh, the feedback uh, the right, away, right away. Right <laughs> away. Didn't do it with him, by the way. Right. Did it with me. I guess I got too close to the one Fisher Price speaker up in the corner. Well, he's a pro. Yeah, I mean, this guy knows what he's doing he on killed. stage. So so I go up and I'm like, and now it's eight <laughs> minutes of me going like, is this better? Hold on, what is is that all right? And one guy's like. Cut left, move back, push the thing. That's uh, everyone's an AV expert yes. as soon as you get up there. And then there's the one guy, he's got a blazer on and it's purple. So I go, give it up for the Joker. Murders! It's the dumbest line I've ever said. Oof. Murders. Ouch. And he's up there with the speaker going, ah, oh, Joker. Huh, and I was like, I hope you die. Ha ha, Heath Ledger. You know, it's killing <laughs> all this bullshit. And he's kind of fixing the thing. And I go, forget it. It's not going to work. So now... The cord is hooked up to the one speaker. You know that that whole oh, job. Yeah. Where if you if you pull the microphone, the whole fucking exactly. tower comes down. Exactly. So I'm taught. Whoop! I got a tightrope <laughs> from the speaker to my hand. Just, Isn't you this know. Soto? I thought this was Soto. Well, it's Soto, but they don't they don't do live performances. They couldn't have done a long flat noodle. <laughs> well, uh, that's what I said the whole time. I'm like, you guys are all millionaires. This restaurant costs nine billion dollars to rent. You couldn't get a fucking Sony or whatever. Like, oh my goodness! What are we doing here? And they only check it right then. They never go. We're gonna do. We're gonna see if the mic works. Right. It's, it's a lot of this. Anything? What do you think, Jeff? Is this working? Can right. you hear me back there? You know, so they get to see all that. So that's that's embarrassing. So finally, about eight minutes oh, this in, is painful. I'm I'm like, all right, I'm going into material. Here we go. This guy loves my stuff. And here's the worst part. He does his thing, brings me up, and sits in the front row directly in front of me like this. Like, here we go, baby. They always do that. Yes! Go to the back. I don't want anyone I've ever met in my life within 300 yards of me. Exactly. And you're hiring me. You're paying me a lot of money, by the way, to do this corporate gig. I got to just let you down? you know. But in his mind, he's like, I've seen you kill. Do it. He's like, do the thing you do. It's and they tough. don't realize it's not just that. It's like, well, the audience sucks they're not laughing so i'd go any joke you had to like set up and kind of present to them they were out you know if you go like so my roommate they're like roommate what but if i go hey jeff's jeff's a homo they're like now we're talking well that's the thing is they get used to that so yes. that's what they want they're like i don't want an observation i want you to call jeff a homo right right you jeff's go, a homo yeah you're like so uber's weird and they're like there's no Uber here. What are you talking about? Like, right. they, they can't put themselves in an Uber. They couldn't sit and listen long enough. And, I mean, I was bombing hard, hard, like drops of sweat, lower back, chap lip, dry mouth. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and then, then what? Uh, dogs are weird because they they uh, they shake off the the fur and dander, uh, you know. And you start forgetting bits. Well, and you the, forget bits. I forget everything. I got the Zymer. Forget about it. And <laughs> uh, never forget. So the guys in the front going, "Why aren't you doing the 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 funny stuff. Why aren't oh, you doing the laugh? Cool. And I and I could see on his face, like, what are you doing, man? You're blowing it. Like, like I'm not doing stand-up. I'm doing stand-up, but it's all dying. And then he goes, uh, he goes, oh, he's like giving me this shit. Like, oh, and I go, uh, all right. So I do one of the bits that he likes. Okay. And that bombed. And I know that's not good, but it gave me hope. Like, do you see? 
You see, this is not me now. Right. But he's still like, why are you doing it? It's always them. Well, it's the crowd. It's the situation. It's not the if the jokes work, the jokes work. I know, but I get I get it from both sides because I get that you have to set up a crowd and and present it and and uh, riff a little and then slide into material. There, there are some professional moves here, but I think the fact that he said, "I love your stuff. Just do this joke, do that joke." I thought I could coast, so I kept trying more jokes. Mm. I should have just been like abort. Hey, buddy, you call that a wife? You know, I should have just gone into that. But I couldn't because I kept, I was getting screwed up because I was like, all right, he likes, I'll do this joke. All right, that didn't work. I'll do this joke. That right. didn't work. I'll do, and it just, it, they just didn't care and it fell flat. And so now one guy goes, you're doing great, which totally crushes you because you're already oh. dying. You're already alone up there. You're already outnumbered. And so, not only the, am I bombing, but they're aware I'm bombing, and they're commenting on it, and kind of being mean. But whatever, oh, people are God, leaving; they're trickling painful. out. You know, you see the staff in the back of the bar, like, oof, oh, poor bastard. It's basically like you—you you, feels like you're just taking a beating. Like you ever got into a fight at school where your friend's getting beat up, and you feel like you have to jump in, but you know if you do, his friend will jump in. You're like, I kind of just got to take a beating here. Right, right. That's what it felt like. Like I'll just take this. And Ugh, how long it, do you have to do? I did 45, but I ended up doing like 58 because I was trying to get them. Yeah. And it was so bad. And they can see the sweat. And I'm doing a lot of this. And uh, eventually I go, all right, all right. Give me a topic to talk about. Give me something to talk about, you know, because this guy wanted the, the ending to be the whole Q&A thing. Like Bonnie Raitt. <laughs> Let's give him something to talk about. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Bonnie Raitt would have gotten more laughs. So I go, give me a topic. And one guy goes, when's the show over? And I go, <laughs> let's go. I know. It's a funny now we're line. talking. I know. That's funny. That got, a, that got like a half laugh and half like, ooh, Does shit. she have a podcast? Because I, I can partner up with this fellow. <laughs> that I can work with. Well, That's gold. That wasn't on the pre-approved list of jokes the guy liked, but it worked. When's the show over? Yeah. That's that's that's. Money, that's perfect. That's gold, and I go, I'm with you, buddy. I want it to end, too. I'm dying up here, and that's kind of getting something. So then I'm like, give me something. Give me a news story. And one guy goes, because they're all real estate guys. One guy goes, uh, interest rates. <laughs> and I go, are you fucking nuts? What the hell am I supposed to do with interest rates? I don't know what interest. I, I'm a person of interest. Uh, I'm not interested. I got nothing here. So I'm like, shut up, Bud Light or Spy Balloon or Biden. Something. Yeah. Nothing. The guy is furious, he's steaming, and he's not only mad, but he's embarrassed, because he's like, you're, you're fucking me in front of my friends. I know, I know this feeling. I, I, I get it. Yeah. So you're like, you gotta see a live baseball yes. game, and then you go, and it's like, nothing, nothing, and yeah. the eighth, and you're like, I'm sorry. Well, this was rained out, and uh, uh, Jose Canseco got fucked in the ass on center field, because this was beyond a bad game. This was wild. and uh, BBG. So I just go, well, this was terrible, and I, I panic, and I go, y you don't have to pay me if you don't want to, and that got a huge laugh, and so now I'm like, shit, am I going to get paid? But either way, I, I go, okay, you're supposed to end like a big laugh, and uh, I don't know if that's going to happen, and I, I pulled out every stock line, every hack joke, everything, nothing was working. Cause Impervious. I, I was, once you're bombing, you're bombing. That's what it is. You're in that hole, and you pull out a, a fucking Richard Pryor joke, and they're like... You're done. No, I mean, I just had this in Orlando. Same really? thing. I'm just visualizing all... Yeah, I told you. Ah, <laughs> shit, the Zymer. <laughs> I'm just visualizing all the same stuff I had. It's horrible. And you, the, the sweat drop, the whole yeah. thing, you're just... You're fucked. You're fucked. And the, not to mention, I'm like, uh, nothing there. Like, that ain't helped me either. Right. And, and then they hand you a check for $375,000, and you're like, okay, thank care, thank you. Yeah, and I ate like a prince, and <laughs> so... I get out of there. I get off stage. I give it back to the head guy. I run downstairs. You know, it's that feeling of like trauma. You're like you're like, oh, you're shaking. You're 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 weird. You're you're fucked up. And I just get an Uber, and I look at my watch. It's ten thirty. I went way too long because they started late. Right. They started like a half hour later, forty minutes late. It's ten thirty. So although I get in my 
Uber and the phone is just going, where the fuck are you? This is the guy who runs the club. This is the manager. This is the waiter. This is the agent. This is the manager. Whatever. This is the opener. Oh, this is giving me like heartburn and asshole. Burn. And apparently getting out of Toronto downtown is like getting out of D.C. It's all wiggly, windy. There's a million lights. It's Thursday night. Everybody's out. And I'm just telling everybody, stall, stall, don't like the feature. So poor Sean Murphy must have done an hour and a half. I show up. Uh, the audience. Uh, Jesus. I know. Poor bastards. <laughs> um, I, I, oh, I think Murphy's hilarious. I feel bad. This is like two weeks in a row. You were no, like Murphy, and I was like, oof. Murphy's the man. Hilarious. Killer guy. Good very, egg. very funny. Uh, you know, handsome. But uh, we get to, I get to the bar. I run right in. It's a great room, this Toronto comedy bar. And everybody's super nice. And the guy's like, come on, come on, come on. And then they light him. And they always do that. You cool to go right up? I'm like, yeah, whatever. I've, I've been through the gulag back there. So I go up, and it's the hottest crowd of all time. Oh, thank Christ. Well, those are your people. That's my people. All the people were there. They weren't at the other thing. These corporate events, I, I said I'm doing one in a couple months. I'm yeah. dreading it. it it's like you want to just be like, just send me the money and play my tape. I know. Play I the know. video. But your video is online for free. Right. Good point. Yeah, it's tough because they're picturing you in there going, and I'll tell you that. Uh, the duck fell out of his bag, and they all go, ah, and high five and hug, and uh, they, they, they blow the other guy. They blow the guy who hired you. You know what it's like? It's almost like because they don't realize when they see video of you or hear audio, it's in the most ideal situation. You're yes, at the comedy store. Yes. So then they think they can take you out of that and put you in any situation. It's almost like taking you know Pedro Martinez, watching him pitch, and be like, I'm starting an underwater baseball league. Ah. Will you come? And then you're like, how come you're only throwing four miles an hour? And That's it goes a, right to the ground. That's good. That's you're a like, good analogy. Because I'm not in the right atmosphere. Yes, yes. Not but a great analogy, but it's something. It's something. It's kind of like if you took uh, Conor McGregor and just put him in uh, a Walmart and just go, do your thing. And he's like, bah! Yeah, he's just you're the doorman the shit out of people. Yeah. And then everybody's like, what the fuck's up with this guy? And you're like, no, no, he's great at this. But it's the wrong setting. Right. Bad setting. Bad setting, bad setup, and bad punchline. So I, I haven't heard from the guy. I ran out of there, oh, and geez. he wasted a lot of money on me, I guess. But you want to just go, oh, oh shit. Oh, at, one, at one point, God. that was a big slam. That was bad. That was a grand slam. When I went to the bathroom, his door was like wide open. I was like, oh, well, that's oh, a, I mean, you can't leave a him. door open. I know. So, uh, but you want to go, because the guy before, I was eating all uh, the free food. <laughs> putting it down. I was wolfing Penne. And he goes, uh, so I hear you're doing a Netflix soon. I'm like, yeah, yeah. He's like, are we going to get some of that? And I was like, I'll do the whole thing if you want. And he's like, oh, shit. And I now I have no faith in the Netflix. But but you already shot that. I shot it, but it's, you want to just go, now watch that later when it comes out, please. Yes, of course. Because uh, this isn't all on me. Some of it's on me because I should have gone off book and just riffed with him. Right, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do, but I hope the check clears, and I hope the guy doesn't hate me, and I'm not allowed in Toronto. Well, I think these corporate gigs, what they should do, they should rent out a club. They have money. They're corporations. Go rent comedy bar. That's not bad. And do the show there. It would still be tricky. Still be tricky. Because anytime you're performing to a group of one yes, group, yes. it's difficult. That's the great thing about comedy. It's like you have to mix the groups. It's the same as if you ever do a show... I mean, I know you have, but like when we used to do shows where it's like in a function hall and everybody's with their group. Yeah, it's like the yes. Campbell family's Fucked. here, the Jones family's here. You have to mix. Yeah, because that way you're making like twelve individual tables laugh. Exactly, you're trying to make one company laugh. Yeah, and you, you know it'd be ideal, but they'll never do this because it doesn't behoove them. But what if they did a corporate and then I got to tweet about it and give me like. 30% of my people, there you now go. we're cooking. That's not bad. But, but then they're like, well, now I'm feeding your family. Exactly, I got exactly. I a $300 steak over here for you know, I, Steve Guggen. I would take half the money and pay for their tickets. That's how, that's how brutal those bombs are. Yeah. Because as I always say, I think I've said this before. I don't remember. Probably. But as I always say, you can see them sitting there going, ah, this guy's bad. This guy is really bad. You know? It's the worst feeling. You just want to say, I'm good. I swear to God. Swear to God. And then you start doing the shit where you go, ah, let's, I did that on the Tonight Show. Fuck you. And I know. now you're getting angry at them. And they're like, well, I'm not laughing. Why is that my fault? You I know? feel that way upstairs at the stand all the time yes. in that room. You yes. just want to be like, here's my 401k. Here's my <laughs> resume. This yeah. is my Tonight Show. Exactly. I don't have a 401k, but I don't know what that is. I don't either. I think that's when your job sends some of the money to a retirement. Right? Uh, Does that understand that right? Or it's 401 kills. You work for a company, 
and then they take a piece of your money and they put it in a yes. big work thing and, and everyone gains interest together. And I, then you sit on it and get it, a lot of money when you're old. I think you can I think that you could do a 401k yourself right now though. I don't you think can do it. Yeah, you can oh, just do okay. it yourself. Like you can go to your tax guy and be like, "Let's pay into my 401k." Oh. So what is it then? I think it's a it's a nest egg or, or an investment for later. Yeah, I have a SEP IRA. What's that? That's similar, but I think that's yeah. less. Four hundred one, I think, is millions. Oh, so you're in a you're in a non million investment, which Damn. is fine. That's still better than ninety nine percent of the country. Right. So you're a one percenter. There you go. All right, I'll take it. There you go. Two percent milk. Well, but it's weird to when you have. Sorry, not to go off on a rail, but the country's got three hundred and seventy five million people. So one yeah. percent of that is like three million people, right? Yeah. Well, so it's like you think of the one percent, you kind of think of like twelve guys. Oh, but it's yeah. like three point seven million people are in the one percent. There's a lot of one percenters. Yeah, yeah I was looking million. this up last night. Actually, it's, weird. It, it is weird. Yeah, it's between three and four million. Is one percent. Yeah, and I always think that you travel, and I've talked about this before too. But you always travel. You see all the houseboats. Oh yeah, in Seattle. They're you out see, there. Like it's just yachts Mansions. everywhere you go. There's just huge houses. You're like, this is a lot of fucking wealthy people. Oh yeah, but it's three million. Totally, totally. And even if you're in downtown L.A. or whatever the fuck, maybe not downtown L.A. That's zombie land. But if you're in Santa Monica driving around, that's not considered. You know, Beverly Hills, it's still millions of dollars. These homes right. are millions and millions, and everything's gone up. Silver Lake, you can't get a home for less than two mil now. Oh, LA, a house the size of this fucking studio is $7 million. Oh, yeah, it's crazy. Same with New York, Brooklyn. You can, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to buy. It's a nightmare. Yeah, we're all fucked. Last night, I looked up the median income for the U.S. What do you think it is? It's got to be low. 54000 38 Seventy thousand seven hundred eighty-four dollars. Oh, that's wow. pretty good. Isn't that way higher than you expected? Yeah, yeah. it is. High. Well, also the one percent is lower. It's weird. The like, one percent is like two hundred grand a year. It's not like that's a billion true. dollars. That's true. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, but so, but if you live in Youngstown, Ohio, mm -hmm. or Sioux Falls, South Dakota, you make a seventy k, you're doing all right. Oh yeah, I don't think they make seventy k. Ah, unless they're like working from home at a. Whatever, four hundred one k. I think the highest median income, medium income is Massachusetts. Oh, oh wow. it says something like that. Yeah, something okay. like that. Yeah, that's a shocker. I think so. Yeah, I always thought like Maryland, Maryland, Connecticut. I always thought were like the wealthiest. Oh, states. Connecticut. Yeah, that's a big one. Well, cause Connecticut though, it's like a lot of people don't live there. They just have houses there, or they pay taxes there instead of paying on the Upper East or whatever. Smart. I always think that like that's like I was talking about last week when I had the breakfast. On the Upper East, you're like sixty dollars for breakfast, but the people that live on the Upper East Side make three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars an hour. Right. So yeah. they're just like, yeah, sixty dollars for breakfast. What do you want from me? I know, but it's still, it's still bad news because you're like, we Principal. have to have some semblance of a of a medium price for breakfast. We're living in a society. Yeah, like it. I can go to a diner and get <laughs> eggs for eight dollars, and a pancake, and a coke, and a whatever, and a coffee. And a hash brown, and then you go up here, and it's sixty. So you're like, "What are we doing here?" By the way, even the people listening in the middle of the country are like, eight dollars for eggs." Oh uh, yeah, that's you go to true. Wyoming, it's like a buck and a half for an egg. Yeah, I remember um, Costa. What's that guy's name? Michael. Michael Costa. Good egg, MK. He was always like eighteen dollars for this smoothie. This is not normal. And we were all like, "Ah, oh, yeah, it's New York." And he's like, "No, no." Don't brush this off. This is insane. He's like, I don't want to live here. Well, there's a lot of normalized shit. I mean, this is turning normalized. into like a crazy podcast. I mean, like you walk out in this like tent city. You go to DC. There's tent cities in the capital of America. Oh, How yeah. is this normal? Wow. How is this okay? Everyone's like, well, it's crazy. Yeah, you're no. like, we're supposed to be the wealthiest country of all time. Well, we are in some parts. But then the other thing is, you bring up the tent city, and people go, easy, one percent <laughs> uh, right wing KKK. I'm like, I'm just noticing this REI has got. A setup out here. <laughs> it's bananas. I'm like, can we maybe do something? Take care of something? I don't know. Whatever. Well, that's the last thing I'll say. I don't want to Normandize, but remember during COVID, we could. Know what he's gonna say? We housed. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, elephant never forgets. We housed all these people, and then when COVID ended, we let them go. And you're like, oh, so we could do it. Oh yeah, I think so. Yeah. Well, Houston's, I mean, this is just off the rail, but Houston, they fixed homeless because they just built a bunch of buildings, but we have all these zoning laws. Ah. In Texas, it's lawless. 
So like a cowboy comes in with a 10-gallon hat and three rifles or hit, what do you even call these? Revolvers. Pistol. And he goes, build a goddamn house over there so we don't have these goddamn sons of bitches laying in the right, street. And they right. build it and they go, this guy's a hero. And he goes, 10-4, adios or whatever. Right. Galley goo. But in New York, it's a bunch of queefs <laughs> and skinny hats and jeans and whatever. <laughs> skinny hat even. <laughs> and they go, uh, well, we can't build over there because you need red tape and the right, other thing. Right. I hate red tape. Give me a duct tape or uh, a masking. It's all pipes, pipes, Jerry. So I don't know what's what, but uh, they shut down the hospitals, and now we got dogs and cats sleeping together. Mass hysteria. It's no good. All right. Well, we that, gotta move. I'm moving. I'm packing up, and I'm moving. I'm going to New Jersey. And I don't think there's anything wrong with living in Jersey, Connecticut. Fuck it. Go nuts. Yeah, I want a big house, a big apple pie, green grass, stars, and then What's you wrong know, with that? I'll drive two and a half hours to do a set at the stand. <laughs> That's the problem, though. Is like I, I know a couple guys who are like, I'm moving to Philly. Fuck, this is crazy. And I'm like Philly. I'll never see you again. I'm like it's an hour and twenty. I'll come in every day. Haven't seen him since. That was 1988. Right. So. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah. But you get older, you want to live. Well, this is what I have. I'm always Herpes. like, I want <laughs> I want to move. You remember that? Oh, I want yeah. to move to I want to move to New Jersey. I want a house and a driveway and and, and I go to the beach. Then you start thinking about the ins and outs, the packing up my stuff mm. and leaving my kick ass apartment Great with all apartment. my neighbors. And you're like, I can't do it. You got it pretty good up there. I got it pretty good. I got Ron out above me, clomping around. I got Steve and Caitlin. I got Siobhan right around the corner. I got Grove 34 as a, 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 a stroll. A hotbed of comedy activity. Which, uh, thanks for hitting me up when you did it. Sorry. Right down the street. I got hit up by so many queefs that I was just like, I, I'm locking the, the, the doors. I'm batting down the hatches. I thought we were close. Uh, Four blocks away. We were close. Unbelievable. Very close proximity. Unbelievable. I was off, too. I had uh, people over. I had three, four people in the backyard. I did the set. I went home. I didn't even, uh, didn't even hang. Well, that's a little hurtful. I'm sorry. I'm always saying, hey, I'm at the cellar. That's you at true. home? That's true. And you go, no, no, I don't care for your company. That's all right. Man. I like for the company of men. Well, I got other friends. Uh, no big whoop. I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember anything. Yeah, you forgot my number. Hey, hey folks, Tuesday's stories is brought to you by Sheath. I mean, do we have to tell you how much we love Sheath? We cover it every week. I guarantee I'm wearing them right now. Just gonna double check. Oh yeah, baby, hugging the cards. I made right the same now. ones. Whoa. No, I got different ones. Oh, yeah, but hey, still Are those sheath. the Colorado ones? I don't know what that means, but they're blue and white. There's a C on the bottom. It says, the, oh, really? well, yeah, I got similar ones. They just sent me a new batch. Yeah, I love a batch. Yes. Bring it on, Sheath. We love you. It gets hot in Australia, and to make sure I keep my thunder down under, I'm going to be stocked up on Sheath underwear. That Ain't that the truth? Sheath underwear is the two-pouch underwear you know and love. One pouch for your didgeridoo and one for your koalas. And I got chlamydia. It keeps things separated so you'll feel nice and dry no matter how hot it gets out there. Throw another shrimp in my asshole. Sheath underwear comes in tons of cool patterns to help keep you looking good and feeling comfortable. We love sheath. Wearing them right now. What more do you need? My suitcase is locked and loaded for uh, the big Aussie, and it's loaded with sheath. They're overflowing. I, I, I can't get enough of these things. Finally enjoy the heat without your dick stuck to your leg. Go to sheath.com. Sheathunderwear.com and use code TUESGAYS to get 20% off your first order. Plus, Sheath Underwear's 100% money-back guarantee. You call that a cock? That's Sheathunderwear.com, promo code TUESGAYS. Sheathunderwear.com, promo code TUESGAYS. Support the show and support your balls. Folks, prices are going up on everything these days. Ain't that the truth? Mm. Including my rent, oh coffee, boy. gas, food, Yuck. New York City, nightmare. Everything is more except expensive except for high-quality sound mm. with Raycon wireless earbuds. Mm -hmm. Raycon is premium audio at the perfect price, so you don't pay out the ear for quality sound and smart tech features. Mm -hmm. With high-quality earbuds under 80 bucks, you can keep a backup pair at home or get your best gal a matching set for a song. Get a pair 
and a spare and still pay less than you would with those other big name tech brands. You know who we're talking about. Oh, yeah. With buy now, pay later options, an easy and free return guarantee and free domestic shipping and flat fee international shipping. Raycon earbuds are the easy choice. With over 50,000 five-star reviews, that's insane, wow. you'll love your Raycon earbuds as much as I love mine. Mm -hmm. With the Everyday Earbuds, eight hours of playtime, that's crazy, crystal clear qual call quality, that's hard to say, crystal clear call quality, I Nailed guess it was it. easier that time, and custom gel tips for the perfect, most comfortable in-ear fit, you can take these babies anywhere. Whether I'm in a plane or on the plane or on the subway or in the back of a handsome cab, Raycon's earbuds help me block out everything and anything, including my wife yapping. Mm. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tuesdays today. Get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash Tuesdays to score 15% off. Buyraycon.com slash Tuesdays. Here, here. But, um... Yeah. But anyways, I got to move. Well, this is big time. This is a big thing coming here. I got okay, a big story. Okay. We got time. What? How much time we got? What time are we at? We're at like 46. Whoa. Okay. Flying. Well, I got a couple stories. Please. But first, I got to hit you with the big news. Ah, the big news. Big news. No news is good news. I have to move soon because I need another bedroom for my son. Shut the fuck up. My son, Jerry. What are you, adopting a, a dog? My wife's got a big nut in her, a half a baby. Her tits Get are huge. Get the fuck out of I'm here. I'm not kidding. Who no. not? I'm yeah, not kidding. Shut up. I've been sitting on this what for a long God, time. He went to the doctors in the last episode. The over. I was the at the doctor, doctor every today. 10 seconds. <laughs> I was at He's the doctor getting... today. I saw a hand, a foot, the whole thing. He's oh, waving. He's yeah. crawling around. You're an abortion king. October 29th, new list coming at you. I what? don't believe it. Are you no blown? Way. No I'm way. Are you blown? I'm I don't blown. believe it. He's I don't blown. believe it. I'm not going to blow because I don't buy it. I'll show you a photo. Oh, my God. Wait till you see minute. the photo. I, I've known you 38 years. I never want kids. I'll flush it down the toilet. I'll throw my wife down the stairs. What? Kids are the worst. Look at that what guy. What the fuck oh is going my. on here? Let me see this. This can't be real. Oh is that something? <laughs> I don't want it on the camera. <laughs> Lawyer's gonna fuck us. We're gonna get fired. Don't show it Are you camera. kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is insane. Is this wild? This is the Kennedy assassination. This is it's Pearl Harbor. Did he knock? No, I heard a slam. Oh, jeez. Is that is that Doug Key's kid? What's going on here? Did you steal a photo? Well, we've been trying for years. Years, what? Jerry. We lost three. That's why she was at the wedding. Whole, it's all out there now. It's all pipes. She's blowing up. She's got a fat ass, huge tits. My father's gay. She couldn't come to the wedding. What the we, fuck? We had like, we've had like three of them. They die on the vine, these kids. We had to do some IVF, some needles, and some haze, and some science. This baby costs more than you got for that corporate gig. I'll tell you that. Wow. It's wild. So I got to pack up. I got to move to New Jersey. I'm never going to see you guys again. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're keeping it. A keep. He's got his foot sticking out. Are you kidding? He's got a cock the size of my father's. You've told me you never want kids, and I thought she never wanted kids. Well, well, she always wanted kids. Uh. I didn't want kids back in the day, but then Alan, BetterHelp.com. Yeah, well, well, I can't believe you saved this. Do we have 11 seconds I, left? No, this we got 14 minutes. Yeah. 14 minutes? This doesn't even cover the, 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 the knocking up. You'll be over this in 90 seconds. We'll be, uh. we'll be moving on to something else. We'll be at Chipotle talking about cancel culture. Are you kidding? I already forgot what we're talking about. It's a big deal. Big hoof. Big whoop. June 6th. She's doing... This is unreal. I, 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 I'm, I'm speechless. Blown. I'm, <laughs> blown. I'm, blown. I'm beyond blown. I've been sitting on this for three years. I'm eating out. I'm anal. Well, this before, is... you know, you'd have it. It was pregnant. She was, I'm trying to, I'm, she was pregnant a bunch of different times. Wow. Oh Seven, eight times. But she's 95 years old. So you got to do some science. We had yeah. to get in the lab and really cook up some stuff. You didn't hear about Rosebud. Oh, yeah. Well, we've been going through it together. Oh. The whole thing. Because she's prego. I, I don't know if this is. Uh, yeah, she announced it, yeah. But she did the in vitro, whatever, metriosis, yeah. uh, whatever Greek guy, and it didn't take 
And then they had, they ended up banging, and she got pregnant just randomly. I know. I think that's the way it works because you get all juiced up. I know about nine people that have done this in vitro business. This is a, a, a and then, they, then they have a kid, then they fuck, and they get a second kid right on top of the other kid. Uh, it's wild. It's wild. Father, Jerry. Father's Day is coming up. This I is know. Insane. I'm your father. Uh, a, a father, Jerry. You're, I mean, Blame Alan. I always say to be a great dad, and I, I, I appreciate I'm proud it. of you. I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm blown. Well, by the way, you better get your lady's eggs frozen or get to work, because it ticks away. But oh, how yeah? old is she? She's 31. Oh, okay. That's young. Yeah. We 35, I think. You get their Just tarred. Right down. She's uh, like 31? Yeah, not bad. Huh? I thought she was 50. Yeah, well, she smoked. <laughs> But um, I'm kidding. By the way, she was pregnant last time we played uh, cornhole. What do you pickle? call it? Pickleball. I felt terrible. Wow. She was she was eating shit. I wanted to be like, she's got a baby in her. She can't breathe. Yeah. Well, you gave her the pickle. I had I, to I, text you guys and be like, I'm sorry, my wife was a little off. But that's why she wasn't couldn't come to the wedding because we had she had to be down there. They had to be like look at her pussy to see if it's opening. Wow. I could have done that. Yeah. But, all right. It was a whole thing. Holy moly! This is beyond big. This is the biggest break. Of all time oh on this God. pod. Big app. We so we just came from there. We had the hand and the thing, and then $60 for breakfast. I said, I'm pregnant, you piece of shit. I kicked him out of the store. Wow. Prego. I'm terrified. Fun in the oven. I'm terrified. Knocked I got up. no money. If Join the Patreon now. Please. please for God's sake. Sending sakes. baby clothes, a crib, and a rattle. Yeah, we're uh, gonna, we'll register for the two Yes, stage. yes. Oh, my God. So... Talk me through it. I mean, what? Got, how'd she convince you? Because yeah, everything I kids are stupid. I hate kids. I'll kill a kid. I hate. Uh, I like pedophiles. Give it to me. Well, we got to delete every episode of the podcast ever when this kid comes out because I can't be at a playground with this. They're gonna no. be like, "That's the pedophile guy." Yeah, or yeah whatever. You're not allowed near the swings. Well, of course, I've always loved kids. I just didn't sure. want a kid. But the, what happens Funkle. is with your family growing up. For me, I don't want to get too deep here and dark. But like your family, all I've ever been taught or shown is like kids ruin your life, yes. you get divorced, everyone's yes. divorced, you have no money, you have no freedom, you don't get to go to the bar, you don't get to travel, my life is ruined, we shouldn't have had you, boy, it was a sacrifice. Everyone's miserable. Yes. And then you talk to people, Alan or Dave Walsh, shout out, who are or like- Derek. Uh, uh, they're like, it's yeah. the best thing that ever happened. What are you right, talking about? They're right. like, it's the greatest joy ever. And what are you, crazy? You love kids. You're a kid. You're a big child. Yes. So then you go, oh, right. I was just fucked up from my family going, well, we don't get to do anything. We got a kid. So then you go, no, you just do it. You just wow. do all the things you want to do. So wow. Like, you know, you go, maybe wow. we'll, uh, we'll do that. So then we started doing it. And that this was back in like... 2019. What? Jeez, I feel like since then you've said, ah, kids. I don't know that I have. I don't, I'll, I don't remember. I'll save it for off the podcast. I was going to ask you about this. I've, I suspected. You what? suspect Come for a on. long time. Stop it. How did you I, did? Come on. I felt nothing. The, over the past couple weeks, I, I don't want to do the podcast, but we'll talk All right, we'll All talk right. later because well, we got, we got you know, time I'm, crud. But uh, congratulations. Thank you. I'm, very I'm, excited. I know you don't like Congra touching, but congrats. I have, I have crazy. to do a touch. I mean, this is. As a friend, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm joyful. I'm I'm beaming. Well, you got to come over and see the kid. I can't wait. And lend me money and really you help out it. if you could. Uh, <laughs> help with the mortgage. I'm scared to death. By the way, these young kids, the whippersnappers with the TikToks. I know. AI I know. is gonna fuck us it's all. It's terrifying. AI, 300 million jobs in the next 10 years gonna go away. It's Everyone's funny. addicted to their phones. My father's gay. It's the best time to be alive and the worst time. You know, it's like we have all these great resources and everything, but it's also like. Suicide, depression, anxiety, uh, fucking fentanyl. It's all this horrible shit. It's scary. And the ticket sales, Jerry, they text you. They go, they got 11 tickets sold. I'm like, I got a son and a mortgage and my father and my, and my the insurance. And every every doctor's visit, by the way, is $5,000. Of course, of course. I got to hook you up with Seinfeld. He's got some big advice. Oh, I'll, please. I'll take it. Because he's like, I get it. It's scary. We're comedians. He's like, I went through it. Here's everything you need to know. He's got a booklet on this shit. So it's interesting. A lot of the people, too, are hilarious. They'll be like, it's the best. All right. They're like, you're going to love it. I'm with my son Monday through Wednesday. Then my wife takes him. And I'm like, well, I don't think it's going to be like yeah, that. Not yeah. for a couple of years, anyway. We're not divorced yet. <laughs> um, people love to say that. <laughs> I, know, I know. I've had four different guys be like, it's awesome. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then the weekends, you're free. And I'm like, well, that's not. Yeah. Uh, not and, trying to do that. People make it where Big J, Gomez, the whole skanks have kids, and they're all like 31 by now. Ooh, if Mark has a kid, 
Little gays can really happen. Oh, with oh kids. little gays. Ooh. There you go. Uh, yeah. I'll make my kid go. I'll just r- grab his arm and then go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll be fun. It's uh, it's exciting. It's terrifying. Oh, and, uh, my. This is huge. This is big, big news, baby. I want to do the Elaine. Get out. Well, I thought about that. It's Kennedy assassination, Pearl Harbor. Yes, yes. Costanza. Let me see. We got some champagne. No champagne. No champagne. But you know something? No champagne. <laughs> Wow. Damn. Wow. And I threw the Doug Key one at you. Uh, you must have jittered a little. I know. It's hard. I'm like, well, tis the season, whatever. Uh, wow. You know. It's a lot going on, but it's crazy. I got stories, too, because I had to jerk off in a cup. And the first time I went there, I went to the Spring Fertility, which is every... It's all comedians over there, by the oh, way. Oh, how about Spring that? Spring Fertility Clinic. You go there. It's literally... They have, like, five comedian clients. Everyone I know is over there. Wow. There's... Um, Casey Balsham is in there. Oh. And some people you can't name because they're sure, whatever. Sure. But there's, like... It's all, it's like a comedy lineup. It looks like Alan's office. Wow. It's all women. Because these women, they try to have a career. Yes. And then, you know, they're 37, and then yes. they go, yeah, you got nothing but dust and fucking snakeskin in here. Yeah, it's fighter webs. So uh, you go. By the way, also you go, and, you know, we're struggling, the whole thing. And then you go, I have, you know, I have the worms. Huh? The, the varicose veins in my balls. Ah. You remember that, right? I remember that. But does that, does that affect a babe? It can affect your sperm count. So this is what it, how much it sucks to be a woman. I go, well, I do have varicocally, isosceles. I don't know how you say it. Isosceles triangle. Mm. And Because we're sitting there, the two of us. And I'm like, maybe it's me. I got balls, worms. Uh-huh. And they go, no, it's ah. her. <laughs> they're like, they're like that'll take you from fifteen thousand sperm down to ten thousand. Okay, okay. But eggs, these things are good for about ten minutes. Damn. So you gotta freeze them and scoop them and put them in the refrigerator, or whatever. Your whole life, yeah. the food's gonna taste better. The air is fresher. This is very. I mean, there will be hell. You know, the no sleep, the crying, the shitting, the wiping. You know, the thing falls over. You you freak out. It, my dad told me uh, when the baby. They gave me to him, and they go, he might stop breathing at night, so just watch out for that. He's like, what the fuck are you doing to me? You it's know? bad. Well, the wiping is fine. It's the sleep and the being gone is what's yes, up. you got to be yes. gone a lot. That's well, tricky. Two things, because I was always with you. The ah, kids, I'll punt them down a football field. Fuck this fetus. But two things got me. One guy said, he, the doctor handed him the baby, and he said, your life begins now. Which is a little much, but a little I, hurtful. I, I know, right? All the uh, credits and living my dream, whatever. Moving to New York, my whatever. Life's half over, also. That's true. When my son's my age. I'll be dead. Eh, maybe some uh, AI will pop in. Maybe yeah, some some be okay. Some yeah, maybe biology will kick up with the technology. But also, Bill Burr. I heard him on a podcast. Uh, somebody goes, "Hey, so you have you have a baby now?" And he goes, "Yeah, I should have done this ten years ago. It's the best thing ever happened to me." And I remember hearing Bill Burr say that and being like. Uh, that's pretty good. Hmm. Should have done it 10 years ago. He's like, I wasted so much time not being with this thing that I'm obsessed with. Right. Could have had it 10 years ago, but I was a dumb, retard, touring comedian trying to make it. Right. Well, I tried, but what can you do? It didn't work until now, so it's exciting. And this one's really s- sticking in there. Wow. We got I me. Mean, we can discuss names. We can discuss, I mean, because I'll be having one, I don't know, in a year or two. Yeah. So that's pretty close. They could pal up. Well, yeah, when they're first born, it's like they'll be nowhere near. It'd be crazy. One's eight months and one's a newborn. He's right. like, you're. this is like a retarded nothing. Right. But then when they're two and three. That's fine. That's buddies. That's buddies. That's buddy time. And then when they're our age, they're our age. Wow. I'm never like, well, you don't really understand, Mark. I'm 18 months older than you, right, for God's right. sakes. Once I you're for, 10. I forgot. Once you're 10, you're the same age. Yeah, but we got to get a shot of me and you putting two fat, chubby toddlers in diapers right in front of Seinfeld. Put on the big race. <laughs> That'll be big. That's going to be fun. But yeah, so I went to the- uh, This the, is unreal. The clinic, Spring Fertility, and you got to go jerk off in the cup, which is scary. And I'm not really a porn guy. They have the porn in there. Yeah, that's awkward. And it's awkward because I spent half the time trying to choose a porn. I've never looked at porn. I'm like reading glasses, <laughs> you know, Elmo Fudge. Elmo, what's his name? Elmer Elmo Fudd. Oh, Elmo, Elmo, Fudd. Elmo Fudd porn. Elmo, Elmo Fudge. Fudge is a great <laughs> gay actor. He's a great gay porn star. Elmo so, Fudge. He's so a big I'm black going, guy who takes it ass. the title. So uh, I'm trying to find, you know, the right thing for like 20 minutes. And then you hear like a knock, but it's the next door. It's like here. Like someone's knocking on the next door. And I'm like, oh, no, I'm in here. I'm still good. Cr- crazy. And then I realize it's not even my door. But then I do this. This is like so embarrassing. So you jerk off. You put it in the cup. Then you tape the name on it, put the screw thing. Then you put it in the little window. You flip that. It's like a bodega. You flip it right. around and you stamp it. Wow. But then I just walked out because I didn't know what to do. So I walked out into the lobby. 
And I was like, hey, uh, I'm good. And they were like, you're well, not supposed to be out here. They're like, you're supposed to stay in there. You're supposed to pull your pants up. <laughs> it was like a whole thing. Everyone started yelling. And there's like women, pregnant women, like waiting there. And I just walk out and I'm like, hey, I finished. And oh, like, that's Get so back weird. In there. And they had to come and be like, sir. It was like a escaped asylum person. Right, right. That's they hilarious. Put me back in. They're like, stay put. Don't come out of there ever again. I'm like, I'm sorry. Wow, it's so weird. There's just hundreds of guys doing that every day, all day in that room. It's all dudes in there. They have the point. There's like a little condom on the remote. And then the, I had to go a second time. Wow. And the second time I went, there was no porn. It was literally like Disney Plus, which I thought was hilarious. Yeah, that's good for the some guys. Disney Plus and like <laughs> yeah. they had Paramount Plus and Disney Plus. And, um, wow. <laughs> like, can I get the Mickey Mouse Club? That'll help me <laughs> finish quicker. Literally no porn. So I ended up watching porn. On my phone. Oh, that's smart. With, uh, you know, uh, Carmen San Diego in the background. I couldn't think of a Disney show. <laughs> wow. The Warrant. What's that's the name's name? Show. What's the one? Diego. Oh, uh, uh, Dora? Dora, 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 Dora. Dora. Yeah, she's Dora. cute. Couldn't think of her. Wow. I mean, uh, you know you're blown when I, I didn't even, I don't want to. I still don't know if I buy it all the way. Oh, it's bought, <laughs> baby. It's bought. Signed, sealed, delivered. In fact, here's my mother texting because you know we went to the doctor today. Wow. Like, I assume what she say here. You know what's funny is we the appointment go. We sit and we bitch. Me, me and you, we go to these lunches. We walk around the park and we talk about all the little intricacies and the gossip and the drama and the horse shit and the numbers and the business. This just puts it all in perspective. You go, this is what it's all about. You're bringing a human being into the earth. Your wife's old. This kid (laughs) is you just in a cup. Now there's a kid. He's gonna have a little personality or she. He. He will have a little personality, he'll have a little dong, he'll have herpes, it'll be very exciting. A he's little gonna, buddy. going to have little glasses, you're going to put him up on your shoulder, he's going to hate the music you like. It's fascinating. Covered in herpes, he's going to be just a big sore. Yeah. And, um, what was I going to say? I had something to add there. This is unreal. I mean... What was I going to say? It was something. I am I am blown. I didn't see this coming. Blow. Oh yeah, but this is the other thing though. This is what's so hard, is... He'll put it in when he's there. You're like, okay, but at the same time, you're like, now I really gotta make money. Yeah. Now oh, I yeah. really oh yeah, something. you're a provider. So all that's happening now is I'm like on my phone three times more a day. I'm like, I gotta send an email. Let me try to get a, a clip. Oh, Let me try to get a YouTube. Yeah. I'm like, subscribe. I'm like responding to comments for the algorithm for my right, son. right. It's horrible. Wow. My then, phone time is like 78 hours a day because I'm yeah. trying to make a buck for this son of an ass. Sure, sure. Well, hey, you got to do what you got to do. I mean, Louis said he was a f- decent comedian. Then he had kids. He's like, I have to be good. Well, that's how Literally. I Literally. This whole time. That's why I'm pumping out these hours because this whole time, Sarah's pregnant. She's not pregnant. She's pregnant. She's not pregnant. Wow. Whatever, whatever. So I'm like, God damn, I got to make some money. You got to make some money. And you're going to a ton of material. Obviously, I know that everyone yeah. says that, but you're you're gonna have a ton of kid stuff, ton of wife stuff, ton of getting pregnant stuff. This is huge, man. This it's, is wild. It's scary though, too, because you're like, ah, this is a Louis bit. There's I gotta know. be so many things. I know. Like, he ah, did everything. He did it. Damn it. Yeah, Schultz is doing a whole jizz in a cup bit right now, and it's pretty great. So uh, that's that's kind of. But well, I think even at the those. jizz in the cup, I was like, I don't know if this could be a bit. I feel like so many people, anyone that's ever jizz in the cup, right, is going right. to have a bit about jizzing in the cup. Yeah, it's mm. good, although the walking out into the lobby was pretty. That's great. I was like, hey guys, I like that. Uh, wow, but, I can't, I can't even wrap my dick around it. Big excitement! Let's get a burrito. My blood pressure's high. My cholesterol's high. I'm going to die now. I have to live because as a kid. How funny would it be if I just did a whole thing about the corporate gig? We never got to this. <laughs> well, I'm scared to, to talk about you. It. It's hard to. You're so nervous because you lose them. But now I think we're in this safe zone. We just went. They were like, he's healthy as a right, horse. Right, right. He's tall. He's a long. Really? Onion. Yeah. He's like right. seven inches tall. He's a lanky son of an onion, like I'm, dead. I'm hoping for a tennis player. I want to. I, that's what that's my money. I want him to be like a tennis player who's got a six foot seven smash, and I'm just I won't hoping, love him if he doesn't play tennis. I'm just hoping for a chin. Yeah, as long as we can get that chin. Oh, you, did you see the photo? It's no. in there. I was like, God, oh, he must have uh, his wife's chin and nipples. Oh, good. I mean, it's the same size as mine, but to scale, it's pretty good. Hey, solid. That's good. He's got his chin now, and I, I think he's got a normal mouth. Is it type three? Yeah, his teeth look a little weird. Well, they're not in yet. And just, look at the size of this cock, by the way. Look at Jesus! That. That's bigger than mine. By the way, we talk about um, this is funny. We talk about you know gender and whatnot. Oh boy! And then uh, the lady today, she like she's doing the ultraviolet, whatever the fuck that's called. Oh, zooms yeah. in on his dick and just types in, "I'm a boy!" Exclamation! 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 Oh, to print to you. So she's like, fun. "There you go." But there's no like, 
is this okay? Like right. she's just like. He is oh, a good, boy. Good, good, good for her. Go. Fuck it. <laughs> so, she's, she's a professional. I'm not saying anything. I'm not trying to say anything about anything. I'm, I'm just saying it's funny. Yeah. That in the doctor's office, there's still, there's no, they're like, this is a boy. Yeah, yeah hands there you down. Go. No oh. if, ands, or dicks. But that could change, of course, whatever. Yes, yes. But I'm just saying, it's just funny yeah. to be removed from the whole thing. I know. And just have a lady with a, with a fucking light on her forehead and a white <laughs> thing be like, Okay, here is your boy. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's no... Yeah. She doesn't care. She's busy putting condoms on remotes. She's not worried about Twitter. But... <laughs> that's funny. That's someone's job. I know. Someone's job is to walk into a clinic where someone just beat off and put a new plastic thing on a remote. Yeah, there you go. So uh, they should do that in hotels, by the way. I've, I've put some uh, remotes in my hand at a hotel. I'm like, ooh, that is sticky. Some do have that. Okay. Well, Universal Remote uses a Magnum condom. But they say Condoms. with the, the childbirth... <laughs> That uh, oh, God. the gender roles really just accentuate. Like, uh, you know, we're all kind of wishy-washy now. Men and women, they're kind of the same, blah, blah, blah. Sarah's going to go full-on apron, child, maternal, cleaning up, breastfeeding, you know, uh, nursing it. You're going to come in and poke it. It's going to go, ah, go, here you go, lady. You handle it. Oh, I'll be out. Fucking chicks, building houses, there fixing you the go. plumbing. Yeah. Yes, herding sheep, cattle, yeah, chopping so wood. It's it's terrifying. I'm uh, the the financial stuff is terrifying. Well, I gotta move to Ohio or something. If you need any money, I can give you Sam's number, and uh, this is very exciting. I got I got all kinds of wealthy friends, which is nice. There you go. Yeah. I do, I do okay, folks. And you start to think about it. Everybody's kind of having kids. Not everybody, but a lot of people are. You know, it's Rosebud, Doug Key, you. It, it's the, the numbers are going up. You, me, Kramer the Butler, and uh, yeah, Chuck just met that lady. So that's oh, not yeah. going to be long. Uh, yeah, <laughs> she saw those photos. Oh, he's yeah. clinging on. <laughs> no, no, no chance. He's letting that lady go. <laughs> yeah, uh, she's, she's, she's sterile. Chuck will be like, yeah, I don't know what happened down there. It broke, I guess, but. Um, <laughs> Good to meet you. Stick around if you could. Yeah. I don't, even, um, I don't think you got her name. But either way, this is very exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. It's wild. It's exciting. We still got a little time to play some pickleball, but it might be she's All very right. out of breath the whole thing. But I'd love this to. will give us an excuse for why but we're losing. I can't. I'll go easy on her, though. I'll feel too bad. I can't spike it on a pregnant lady. Oh, well, we'll switch it up. I'll fire one right at this kid. All He's right, ruining great. my life, this stuff, onion. you? Yeah, you're right. All right. No, I can't wait. It's exciting. And it'll be a whole new podcast. I I'm going to be coming in here going, the baby shit in my mouth. And, yes. Uh, but uh, It'll be hard. You'll have a towel over you with puke on it. You'll be that guy. It's going to be crazy. I mean, it's going to be all baby stories all the time. Well, little gays, buckle up, folks. It's coming. Yeah, keep so it going. And if, uh, if we could keep doing this pod, that would be ideal because... We All will. Income. We're going to keep doing it. Help out the pager. Just throw the guy a Venmo. Throw the guy a, a, a <laughs> fucking PayPal or whatever. I mean, it's a it's a baby shower. Yeah, baby shower. Shower with gifts. Golden shower. Yes, exactly. Silkwood shower. And, so, b- and by the way, tomorrow, if you're in uh, Los Angeles, tomorrow, I'm at the Hollywood Improv. Hopefully it's sold out by now, but maybe it's not. Oh, it'll sell. I don't you're know. dead. Hollywood Improv, tomorrow night. Uh, I'll have some great guests. I think Henry Phillips, maybe. Ooh. Luke Bonus, probably. Lindsay Adams. We'll have a good crew Hell over yeah. there. And then uh, next weekend, Columbus. Please come. Columbus. What is Ohio? What's the deal with comedy in Ohio? It's what? so hard to sell there. Really? Columbus well, is all right. Oh, well, Columbus I haven't been to. But like okay. Cincinnati's tough and uh, Toledo. I think they're scared to leave the house. I think it's a little dicey out there. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? But Columbus. I haven't worked Columbus Ever. I opened for Johnny in there 25 years ago. That's a hot town. I'll be there, and then, uh, oh, my God, I got so many dates. Let me look. Sorry, give hey, me a second. Hey, look it up. I'll be in Australia, so say hello. But get your tickets for the You oh, Don't the Say live. Tour. Oh, we're doing oh, a live app. Yes. The sorry. 20... June 27th. June 22nd. 7th. Uh, June 27th. Gramercy? Gramercy. Gramercy. And then there's a Philly one as well. That's August 22nd. Thank yes. you. Good looking out. And then, uh, yeah, Columbus Funny Bone. And then, of course, uh, Irvine, California. Irvine Improv. Ooh, that's fun. Room. July 13th through the 15th. Then San Jose the following weekend, July 20th through the 22nd. August is crazy. Providence Comedy Connection, August 3rd through the 5th. Helium in Portland, August mm. 10th through the 12th. And the Dallas Improv, August 24th through the 26th, live 
Tuesdays with Stories the 22nd of August. Now we're nice. cooking. That'll be fun. And subscribe yeah. to my YouTube for the yeah. love of Christ. Yeah, and you got a special coming out. I got a special coming out soon. Special. Baby coming out soon. Chuck's yeah. coming out soon. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of stuff cooking. Uh, MarkNormanComedy.com for dates. Check out the tour. You don't say. Chuck. Uh, yeah, so most recent episode of my podcast, Fun Bearable, is with Andrew Chavone. We nice. shot here in the Tuesday studio. Oh, in, wow. the, in the big room, in the big room. And then uh, this week, uh, this Wednesday, it's going to be Matt Wayne on the show. Oh, he's a banger. Yep. And then next week, uh, June 12th, Monday, it'll be uh, the, a live Fun Bearable episode at Grove 34 in Queens with Matt Wayne and Andrew Chavone. So it works out really well. And Joe, congratulations. Thank yeah. you, brother. Thank you for making me an uncle. I really appreciate uh, it. Oh, you got to name it after oh Chuck. <laughs> this kid's not going to be anywhere near you after this lady I just showed me photos of. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be covered in venereal disease. I don't know, that, that lady, could, she could babysit. Yeah. <laughs> All Hola. right. I, you know, it's, Hola, uh, this is kind of selfish of me, but when I was talking about having a kid with my lady, I remember being bummed that you weren't. Because I was like, oh, am I going to fall behind with everybody? Like, am I going to lose touch with everybody? Because I'll have a kid, and you, and Sam, and all these other guys don't have one. Well, but, I'm all over these kids. You know okay. me. Yeah, you like to touch a kid. What? But, uh, you know, veter has got two. We forget that. And he's doing fine. He's got two. We just had a big powwow. We did a long drive. It was very nice. And, uh, yeah, Veter, he's uh, he's got two. And he and lives he... in New Jersey, and we never see him ever. That's true. But <laughs> I do a show with him. I see him every uh, once a week. But he's so stoic. You never see Veter complaining. You know, he's... he's a man. The most stoic. I, I always say that. He lost more with COVID than anyone I've ever met. He had a, the, He had the best apartment, the best gig, lost... Literally a million dollars. Yeah. Literally. And never seemed upset, never bad an eye. Just went out to New Jersey and found a new way to make a ton of money. There you go, folks. Maybe not a ton, but... Yeah, he's doing fine. He opens for Nate, Sal, Sam, me sometime. I mean, he's doing okay. He's, he's doing he's great. dialed in. And he's little and cute. Yeah, he is. And uh, he's also a guy that had a kid and got in better shape. Everyone talks about dad bod. That uh, guy got in better shape. He looks point. unbelievable. Good point. He looks great. He's four foot one, but he's ripped. I'm already getting a dad bod. I'm like, fuck it. Let's let it go. Dad, women like him, apparently, according to TikTok. They like dad bods and small dicks, so I don't know what to believe. <laughs> TikTok. Ah. Uh, hey, that's funny. Dickcock. Did I ever do that? Instead of TikTok, dick talk? Ah. Dick cock. Dick butt gets. There's also uh, the biological clock. Huh? Oh, yeah. Well, that clock's expired, ticking. but... Uh, yeah, we got science. Science, baby. AI. Yeah. Oh, AI is going to kill us all. Ah. Oh, my God. I'm fucking doomed. Well, we'll be dead soon. So thanks a lot, folks. We'll see you in hell. Big show. Spread the word. Spread the love. Again, send the guy a fucking congrats and a gift. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you in hell and book this queef, will you? Because he's, he's, he's got a child well, coming. I'm getting booked. Come to the show. Oh, That's okay. what I There you go. Buy a Even better. I'm booked all over town. It's the, uh, it's <laughs> the <laughs> dickens that are a little lights. Woo. All right. Well, bring your kids. Have fun. Praise Allah. Comedy. Come on.